My name is Logan Martin. I'm 27 years old and I'm a professional BMX rider. There's not really an event that I haven't won that, that's, that's, a, that's a major event. So I set out to do quite a bit in my career and I've achieved a lot more than I ever set out to do. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, I've had a good run. My name is Brandon Lupos. I'm 28 years old. Uh, I don't know anything else besides BMX. I've been in, infatuated with BMX ever since I was a kid. 2017 when, is when, when they, uh, like when we got announced that we'll be in the Olympics. Uh, ever since I started riding for Oz Cycling and it became a realistic goal to go to the Olympics, it's been, it's overtaken everything in my life and I'm very thankful for it. Uh, it's given me something to shoot for, it's given me something to aim towards and something to stay consistent in my program. You know, we're six weeks, six weeks away from the Olympics and we still have not picked a team. We don't know who's going to the Olympics and the UCI BMX World Championships, this event will solidify that, that, um, that selection process. It's whether, whether Australia will finish in front of America and take two spots or the other way around. This is when we're going to find out whether Logan and I go to the Olympics or um, two Americans. And I think, I think it just makes sense for us to both go. Um, if, yeah, if, if everything works out the way it's meant to be, I think, I think that's the way it's meant to be, is we, we both will go to the Olympics. So I'm back in Brisbane now. I've been stuck in hotel quarantine for the last 13 days in this small little room. <clears throat> I got my jersey and medal hanging up there. So that's super cool to wake up to. Yeah, so obviously super, super stoked that I won the world championships. <clears throat> um, that's actually my second world championship win. So that's super crazy. But yeah, to make it onto the Olympic team from that win is uh, something super special and it's a, it's a massive achievement for me. It's been five days, six days since France, since what happened in France, if a lot of you who don't know what happened or saw what happened, I flipped triple with the spine in my first run and landed perfect and somehow my knee collapsed. <laughs> I landed perfect, no hard impact, no nothing. I guess I could say that my knee, my, my leg was in an awkward position. Heading into this Olympic qualification period, it was my all or it was my do all or end all. All I wanted was to go to the Olympics, Tokyo 2021. And that, that, uh, it's no longer an option, unfortunately, but if anything, I'm just going to take it as, Hey, there's something better around the corner. I know how bad he wanted it as well. So it was super, you know, super devastating to, to see that happen, especially the way it did. Um, but also, yeah, very devastating. We didn't get, get the two spots. It's insane. It still does not feel real that I'll be going to the Olympics next month. Like, it blows my mind. It's never been an Olympic sport, so to me, it's almost not even a dream come true because it was never a dream. It was not even on the cards. My dream was to just have fun and ride my bike forever. Like, being able to support myself by riding my bike was the ultimate dream. So this, like, just exceeds it to another level and I'm so excited to put the green and gold jersey on, be on TV and make you know my whole family proud and everyone who supported me. So I, it gives me goosebumps now. Shoulder taps. For a minute. One minute, challenging yourself with 
See if you can go one, two, three. One, two, three. It'll be a bit harder today. So we've heated the room up. At this stage, it's only 26, but it'll get up to about 32 degrees and around about 50% humidity. So similar to Tokyo, probably not quite as humid, um, but just to give them the sort of that uncomfortable uh, environment to, to do, just get used to doing a little bit of work in the heat. So I've had four knee reconstructions now from an ACL injury on the same knee. Um, and by the fourth, I was just like, the risk isn't worth the reward. Like I was working full time while trying to ride. So after that, I was like, you know, I'm not gonna be walking by the time I'm 30 now, it's not worth it. Uh, and then it got announced. And at the time, Caroline Buchanan was doing race and freestyle. So I was like, well, they already have, you know, a girl. So, you know, that's that. And then she called me on FaceTime, never met her, never spoken to her before. And she was like, hey, just wanted to let you know that I'm not going for freestyle anymore. I really hope that you try again because I can see so much, so much potential and the skill you've got. You know, just give it one last try. And I was like, that's not a sign. Like, I, I don't know what is. Logan's super professional. Like, I met him when I was about 15. And back then, even when, like, uh, you'd say the sport wasn't as professional. He, he was a true athlete. And in my eyes, he's one of the only true athletes in BMX. On the bike, his style is, you know it's Logan when he's riding. He, 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 can't, he can't be mistaken. He's super smooth, fast. He, he just can't be beaten at the moment, it's insane. Yeah, so I built this in my backyard in 2019, just for the pure fact that once BMX got into into the Olympics, the uh, like the sport started progressing a lot, and we didn't really have any training facilities around here. So I either need to move overseas or build something that I needed to you know to ride and, and keep progressing on. So it's also fun just you know being in my own my own environment, uh, tra training and riding my bike. So it's um, yeah, it's actually amazing. For, for BMX to be to now be in, the, in an Olympic sport is you know huge. It's it's the biggest stage of them all. Hoping hoping obviously more kids will see it, more people will get on bikes. Um, you know more females will start to get on bikes now that now that it's like in the Olympics as well. And people still don't know what freestyle BMX is. They don't understand how professional that the sport is now, and just the tricks that we're able to do and the. De determination, the motivation that you need to, to get where we are, I think that a lot of people are going to understand and, and realise that it is a professional sport now. Obviously everyone's chasing gold, everyone, wants, everyone dreams of first place, everyone dreams of being on the podium and that's all I think about every night I go to bed, when I wake up, driving in the car, like I can't get it off my mind. Doing what I planned and landing it, that's first place that's first place in my mind. So, you know, I'm just super excited to do that. And if I can't, I'm going to be devastated. <laughs> I think I think I work hard enough to, to be able to get the gold medal. It's just going and executing on the day. So, I mean, to, to win the Olympic gold medal first time for freestyle BMX will be, you know, right in history. So it'll be, it'll be amazing.